Hi everyone, welcome back to the React series. In this video, let's understand what is actually JSX. So this code that you see right here, this is actually a div tag and this looks exactly like HTML, right? Even the header, h1, all of these tags look like HTML. And yet people say this is JSX. So what exactly is this JSX and why is this not HTML when it looks exactly like HTML? Let's first understand what is JSX. The full form for JSX is JavaScript XML, that is JS is JavaScript and then XML. It is basically an extension to JavaScript language syntax. That means we are actually just writing some JavaScript code here, but then this is not actually HTML. Okay, so we understand that it is an extension to JavaScript language itself. It has nothing to do with HTML. All right. So how are we able to run it in the browser? JSX transpiles to pure JavaScript code and that is how our browser is able to understand it. That's fair enough, right? The JavaScript engine will be able to run JavaScript code for us in the browser and our JSX is getting transpiled to JavaScript code. So fair enough that we are able to run it on the browser. It is just a matter of syntax that we are seeing on the screen, but behind the scenes, this is actually being written and it is being converted to JavaScript code. There are certain differences in HTML and JSX in terms of syntax. A few of them are as follows. In case of HTML, we give class by saying class equal to any class that we want. But in case of JSX, instead of class, we use class name because just using class, we are actually inside of JavaScript code, right? And class is a reserved keyword, right? Another thing is whenever we have any sort of attributes, so just like HTML has attributes on click event on a button and so on, JSX also has similar attributes. So here right now I'm displaying hello world, just like you can see here. Now I'm going to create a button. So I'm going to say button and let me say click. Now instead of on click, in case of HTML, we follow small case, but in case of JSX, we follow camel case that is on and then C has to be capital. And then you can call any function of your choice. Here I'm just putting an empty arrow function. So it does nothing. So I should be able to see a button here and on click actually does nothing. All right. So this is one thing that we need to notice that the attributes actually follow camel case instead of small case everything. And another thing to notice is this, just like how we can have nested HTML tags, we can also have nested JSX tags, right? So this is basically nested JSX. You have a header inside of header. We have H1 and button. So this is from the syntax perspective. Now, why would we actually use JSX in the first place? Why not just HTML? If you see JSX makes our life much, much simpler. And how does it do that? It allows our JavaScript code that is any expression values to coexist with our JSX code. So it looks like we are able to combine our logic with our markup. How do we do that? For example, let me actually create a variable. So actually a constant. So I'm going to say const name as Simran. And let's say I want to render instead of hello world, I want to say hello Simran. All I have to do is take flower brackets. Whenever you want to put any expression or any value inside of your JSX, all you have to do is put these flower brackets and in here you can put any expression or value that you want. In my case, I want to put the name. So I'm going to hit save and now let's actually go and check. It says hello Simran, right? It is so easy for us to display any expression values or anything and combine our logic along with our markup code. We will learn a lot more about this in the upcoming videos. But for now, we need to understand that we are able to do this in a really easy manner. And that's why we would prefer JSX. Another thing to note here is this, that JSX prevents injection attacks. I'm not going to go deep into this particular point. You can read more about it on my Instagram page. I have basically uploaded notes on this topic and other React topics. The link is in the description box below. This is it for this particular video. In the next video, we will explore how we can actually create functional components. Now that we understand what is this code written right here, this is JSX. This is not actually HTML. 
if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and you can subscribe for the upcoming videos thank you